hello again to everyone watching, YouTube subscribers and newcomers, welcome. I'm Dusty Old Roses, and this is one of my very rare speaking updates, because everybody knows that reading is boring. So, it's been a long time since I've addressed you and done a formal update, so please bear with me. First and foremost is a big, fat, jiggly thank you to everyone who's been watching the channel, everyone who has been supporting the projects that I've been trying to do, people who've been providing advice and help and other kinds of great contributions that I hadn't even imagined people would want to really extend to me. And it's amazing how much you guys have really helped me and the process of which I'm doing these exercises for myself. You've really helped me look at voiceover in an entirely new perspective through all these different perspectives that I'm able to garner from all these different types of YouTube users and beyond YouTube, people who just stumble across these videos if they're posted somewhere. Thank you immensely. I'm going to keep that short even though that there are way too many people to individually thank. I hope that you realize that you've done amazing things for me and I can't thank you enough. One day I'll find a way how, but for now, thank you. First on the agenda, and perhaps the most irritating of anything else I have to talk about, that head desk inducing project I've been trying to get done for quite some time now, and which so many people have been so patient for. Are you even trying? That freaking hot hat's a spy! That spy ain't one of us! Would you look at you? I mean, look at you! It's totally gonna get done. Now, I've already done like two or three different videos about my progress on the sound pack, the changes I've had to make, the backtracking that I've had to do, the entire, the entire rehauling of the project after I was getting fed up with my equipment and after I had completed Female Spy, which again, for all your support, thank you. This update is not to announce yet another drawback, but to hopefully announce an estimated release date. Um, if you're following the Twitter that I have, uh, Dusty Old Roses, or the blog, um, you'll know by now that I have estimated it at around late December, and I'm actually maybe even pushing towards early January. I wanna say with absolute confidence that it'll be out before February. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, there's gonna be a little surprise hiding in the sound pack for those of you who uh, those of you who are a little curious as to how I'll handle the Vince offer lines, that's uh, another little tidbit. I would have it done even sooner, but I'm going to have to be laid up in bed for a couple days this week, uh, seeing as how I'm going to be having the wisdom teeth violently yanked from my face. Um, Another brief update, um, if you haven't already caught on by what I've been posting in annotations in my videos and what I've been writing about on Twitter or my blog, I now have a full-time job with benefits and cool grown-up shit. However, this means I work a full work week and I no longer have any time to record or do any other kind of projects be they Gmods or playthroughs or any other cool, fun stuff that would be awesome to do on the weekdays. All of that stuff now has to be pushed over into my weekend, which I really don't mind. But it does kind of put a little crunch on things. So if things don't get posted as often or at all for a while, no worries, it's just responsibility calling. <laughs> but I digress. My final update is something that is actually really important and the and pretty much the principal reason as to why I'm making an update in the first place. Once upon a time I asked you guys to look deep into your hearts and your wallets and to donate something to the Japan Relief Fund. I'm truly stunned at how much positive energy and how much positive response I received after that video and how many people actually did take the time to go and donate to the listed charities that I provided. So in the middle of all this madness to get that special someone the perfect gift for the holidays, whether it be material or even just sentimental, it's important to remember one very crucial thing. You want an unusual hat. You know who doesn't want an unusual hat? I don't. Look at mine. Look at it. It's just sitting there. Not doing anything. Being all unusual. 
Well, I'm not going to stand for it any longer. I'm organizing a fundraiser auction. Because let's fucking face it, I don't play Scout at all. I don't particularly want to trade it for another unusual. I got that wealth of joy and satisfaction and finally obtaining an unusual. And I'm done. The auction for this unusual is going to be in money. Not items, not keys, not extra copies of games, but cash. Paying money for virtual items on the internet? No! This isn't new. It happens every day. 100% of the winning bid will be given to Child's Play, the gamer's charity that provides games and toys to hospitalized children across the nation. If you are genuinely interested in this auction for Child's Play, and if you are genuinely willing to spend money via PayPal for this hat, there's a whole lot of rules and regulations and limits and times and dates and blah 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 blah. All of that will be explained in the response video to this video, entitled An Unusual Christmas for Child's Play. Even though this is a very small step, I'm hoping it'll inspire the rest of you to donate to Child's Play this holiday season. The minimum donation is $5. That's half of the minimum at the Red Cross. You could even donate twice. Get two times a selfless act for one crisp... Jack's... No. Who, who the fuck's on the... Ten I forget. It's only $5. You have $5. You know you have $5 because it's the only amount that Steam will let you put in your Steam wallet every time you want to buy just one key. And then you have to buy two keys because otherwise it'd be a waste of money. Otherwise that 251 is just sitting there, not doing anything. And you're like, what the f God damn it! What? <laughs> no!